Hey everyone, and welcome back to another great eShop Deals video. And on top of it, we're back to our regular scheduled weekend programming. Now, as I've mentioned in pretty much all my videos, if you're new to this series, don't forget that I will not go over in this video the deals that were talked about last week that are still running. And as usual, I always recommend that if you want a full lay of the land and all the deals right now to at least check out last week's video as well, because most of the deals that were on last week are still running today. For those of you that want to check that video out, I'll be leaving a link up above to the eShop deals playlist. Now for this week's list, once again, we have over 20 new games that are on sale. And on top of it, some go from AAA first party Nintendo titles all the way down to really cheap eShop deals. Now the last thing before we get started, don't forget that if you do like these videos and you want to support the channel, best way to do that is to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. But now let's get started with the first game. Now the first game on the list is actually sort of a half suggestion. I couldn't not mention that currently Super Mario Party was on sale for 35% off just because first party titles so rarely go on sale that when they do, if you want to pick them up, this is a great time. Now the price only drops to $38.99 and the reason why I'm saying that this is a half suggestion is that in my personal opinion, this is not the best Mario Party software out there. And at the same time, there is another party game that I would suggest above this one that is also on sale this week for about the same price. But nonetheless, if you're a fan of the Mario Party series, you want them all and you don't have this one yet, this is probably one of the best times to pick it up because for first party titles, it often doesn't get much better than this deal. Now, however, the next game on our list is another first party title. However, this one I strongly suggest everyone should pick it up if you're even remotely into the type of gameplay. Basically, Luigi's Mansion 3 is on sale right now for 35% off, dropping it to $38.99. And this was one of my top games of 2019. Luigi's Mansion 3 really brings the Luigi character out of Mario's shadow and really makes his series a front runner in the Nintendo titles. If you've never played a Luigi's Mansion, it is a platformer, but Luigi cannot jump. It is rather based strongly around puzzle solving and discovery in the stages. It is a great series and the Luigi's Mansion 3 really shows you the power that the Switch can deliver with some really amazing graphics. Now, the next game that I want to suggest is one that I love to suggest when it's on sale because it pretty much has a little bit of something for everyone. And that is the Lego series. Now I'm saying the Lego series, what we have here is the Lego Harry Potter collection, but we'll go through the list because pretty much all of the Lego series is on sale right now. And basically why I say this has a little bit of everything is that number one, it's good for people of all ages. Young kids can play, especially in co-op mode with their parents, which is a ton of fun. And even adults who are fans of the source material will love these series. Obviously, if you're not into Harry Potter, you skip the Harry Potter edition. However, if you're into Jurassic World, if you're into the Avengers, each one has their own series in a Lego version. These are basically really awesome puzzle platformers once again with a lot of action thrown in, especially in the more uh, comic book versions of the games. And basically, right now at 75% off for $12.49 to play through all six chapters of the Harry Potter collection is amazing value. Now, next on our list, we have Super Mario Maker 2, another great first party title. And this could arguably be the best 2D Mario on the Switch currently. Why is it the best? Because you've got a little bit of everything. Number one, you can play in pretty much every 2D Mario style that's ever existed. You have original levels coming with the game itself. If you, once you're done with that, you can actually start creating your own Mario levels in whichever style you've ever imagined. On top of it, if you're not into the making of levels, well, this game sort of never ends because you have an infinite number almost of original levels that people post online that you can play through. Going from die hard, difficult levels to just really fun inventions of the mind. 
Now, Super Mario Maker 2 is a Mario game that I would say everyone should have in their library because it's an amazing experience all around. Now, next on the list, we have another amazing Lego game, and that is Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Now, this is actually one of my personal favorites, not only because it's the cheapest one pretty much at 70% off for only $8.99, but because also I'm a huge fan of the Marvel franchise. And at the same time, what I love about this game is this is an original storyline. You're not playing through any of the movies that have come out. You're really playing through a totally original storyline using all the characters you know from the movies and see even some that haven't appeared yet. And basically what's on top of this, which I haven't mentioned yet, the Lego games are a little bit easier than your average platformer. And sometimes it's just fun to lay back and have some fun blowing up stuff. Now, next on our list, we have another great first party title, and that is Mario Tennis Aces, which is also 35% off, once again, dropping the price to $38.99. And well, what can I say about this game? This is the evolution of the Mario Tennis series. This is the best one we've gotten yet. If you like tennis, if you like Mario, if you like just the general Mario sports franchises, Mario Tennis Aces is a very solid entry. That's a ton of fun, especially in multiplayer mode. Now, this is another one that you should just pick up if it was a game you were looking at, because for the moment, the deals don't really get much better than this. Now, the next game we're going to look at is a third entry in the Lego franchise, and that is Lego Jurassic World. Now, this one is another one that does follow the movies pretty closely. Now, if you're a fan of the Jurassic series or just a fan of the Lego series, I would say this is a pretty good one for everyone. And at 75% off for only $9.99, once again, you're getting a ton of content and a ton of replayability for a low, low price. Now, the next game on our list is another sort of first party title, although it was developed by Sega, and that is Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020. Now, when I was referring during Mario Party that there was a better party game out there than Mario Party, in my opinion, this is the game I was referring to. Personally, right now, if I had to choose for a new party game because I wanted to play with my family or friends and I had to drop $40 on a game, I would definitely purchase Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games before I would purchase Mario Party. I just find that all around the events are funner, the gameplay is better rounded, and overall it's just a better game in my opinion. Once again, if you need any convincing, what is really fun about this one is there is a free downloadable demo. So if you want to give it a whirl and see if Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games could be something that interests you, well, then go ahead and try the free demo. Now, the next entry on our list is going to be one of the final LEGO games for this week, and that is LEGO DC Super Villains. Now, this is another one of my favorite ones. Once again, as I said earlier, I'm a fan of the Marvel franchise. I'm also a huge fan of the DC characters, although the movies haven't been nearly as good, unfortunately. But I love LEGO DC Super Villains for the same reason as Marvel, because this is a totally original storyline. And on top of it, you get to play as the villains, which is a really nice twist for this series. It's 75% off at $14.99, making it a little pricier than the other entries so far. But nonetheless, this game is worth it. It's also one of the last entries in the series, meaning that graphically and uh, optimization for the Switch, it's one of the better entries in my opinion as well. But this is a definite one that you should check out if you like the LEGO franchise in any way. Now, the next one that we're going to talk about on the list is a collection, and that is the Trine Ultimate Collection. Basically, you're getting Trine 1 through 4 for only $14.99 because right now the collection is 70% off. Now, Trine is basically some puzzle platformers where you have to control and control different characters in conjunction to get through the obstacles. And the, what I love about the Trine series is as each game comes out, the series really evolves and gets better and better. Personally, the first two entries are just average in my opinion, but Trine 3 and Trine 4 become really, really solid puzzle platformers, even with Trine 4 being an extremely solid one. So basically, if you're into this type of gameplay puzzle platforming, 
The Trine series right now is amazing value for four awesome games for only $14.99. Now we are at pretty much the last LEGO game on our list, and that is LEGO The Incredibles. This is basically an awesome game for any kids that are fans of the series or even any adults that really enjoyed the Incredibles movies. Because once again, you get to play as the Incredibles playing throughout most of the scenarios that you saw throughout the movies. At 70% off at $17.99, this is one of the priciest of the LEGO games. So you, I would really only suggest this one if you are really into the series source material once again. If you're not, I would maybe skip this one and focus on the other games. Now the next game on our list is actually a game that didn't make the list last week, not because the game itself isn't good, but just because the percentage off just wasn't as good as some other games that I wanted to mention. And that is The Survivalists. Basically, this comes from the same developers as The Escapists, but rather this is basically, as the title suggests, survival on a desert island. The gameplay is fantastic. However, right now, what made the game not make the list last week is simply because it's only 25% off at $18.74. But if you are looking for this type of gameplay and you don't mind dropping a little bit more money on this week's games, well, this is a pretty good entry nonetheless. And at 25% off, it is pretty much the lowest it's been so far since this game actually just came out last year. At the same time, this one also has a free downloadable demo. So if you want to give it a whirl before buying it, well, go ahead. Now, the next game on our entry, you are actually getting a spoiler because I'm working on a review for this game that should be coming out today or tomorrow. And that is Spooky Chase. Number one, I don't know what's about all these Halloween games coming out in early 2021, but pretty much every month we're getting a Halloween game that is launching totally out of season. But basically, Spooky Chase right now is 50% off at $2.49. And basically, this melds a action platformer with an auto runner. But it's a super simple gameplay, but it is tons of fun and becomes extremely challenging. At the same time, it's a game that, in my opinion, became extremely addictive. Once I started playing, I just had to finish each level. I couldn't quit the game at all. And that's why I'm actually going to work on a quick review for all of you out there. Now, if you like auto runners or platformers, definitely give Spooky Chase a try. And for anyone who actually has a Canadian eShop account, for some reason, this almost never happens. But this game is actually half price in Canada. Its regular price is two dollars and fifty cents. And you get it right now also at 50% off for only $1.25. Now the next game on my series is actually one of my top picks for this week. If you don't know what to buy this week, Planet Alpha should be a definite top contender. Right now it is 80% off at only $3.99. And I'll be honest, I was late to discover this game just because I hadn't given it a try yet. But once I got into this game, this is an amazingly beautiful action platformer. And anyone who loves platformers should definitely give this game a try. And right now at 80% off for $3.99, this game is a steal. And if you need any more convincing at all, once again, this is another game with a free demo. So just give the demo a try. I'm pretty sure you're going to buy it instantly after. Now, the next game on our list is another new entry to the series, and that is Hypercharged Unboxed. Now, basically, this is another game that I personally as well just discovered this week. And I really have to thank Alex at Switch Corner because I heard about it on his stream this week. I gave it a try and I really loved the game a ton. Once again, it does have a free downloadable demo. And right now at 30% off for $13.99, you get a ton of value for that price. Basically, this is an FPS game mixed with tower defense mechanics. And especially in multiplayer, it's a ton of fun. And what's even better, and really something that is fun to see, is the developers keep pumping out free DLC for this game. And we really have to support companies that do that, that support their games for free, and Hypercharge Unboxed, although I heard when it first came out was a little bit rough, it really has turned out to be an all around great game. Now, the next game on our list is another one of my top picks for this week, and that is Guns, Gore and Cannoli 2. 
that is currently 40% off at $7.79. Now, this is just a good old fashioned, however, over the top, run and gun action platform shooter. And honestly, if you're into any of those genres and you haven't tried Guns Gore and Cannoli 2, you definitely have to give this game a try, especially at the price it is right now. The first one is also on sale. We'll take a quick look at it later, but personally, the second one is the superior of the two games. And if you're only going to pick up one, go straight for the second one. So I said we'd take a look at it, and here it is. Guns Gore and Cannoli 1 is also on sale at 40% off, making it cheaper for $5.99. However, at the same time, as I said, this is definitely a series I would work backwards through. I would buy the second one first, make sure I'm into the gameplay because it is the superior of the two games. And then if I really love the second one, I would buy the first one to see where the series started. But it's the same over the top run and gun action platforming from both entries. Now, the next entry on our list is going to be an awesome retro remake, and that is the Wonder Boy Returns Remix. Now, for those of you who've never played Wonder Boy, it is pretty much the adventure island of the Sega Master System. And even a lot of the stages and gameplay is are almost identical between the two games. Now, basically, if you like retro action platformers, once again, Wonder Boy Returns Remix is a great entry and now at 50% off for $7.49, I think it should be a definite purchase for fans of the series. At its full price, uh, it was a so-so recommendation, but now at $7.49, I think it becomes a definite pickup. Now we're getting pretty close to the end of our list for this week, but our last few entries are going to be some awesome, really budget entries. And the first one of those is Galaxy The Void Deluxe Edition. Now this is a love letter not only to old school space shooters, but also to old school anime. This almost feels like an entry in the Mac Cross series, and the gameplay fits along with that pretty well. Now at full price, this game is just okay. But right now at 75% off for $3.74, if you're into old school space shooters with a modern twist and modern graphics, I would definitely say that Galaxy The Void should be a definite pickup for you for this week. Now the next entry in our series is another awesome budget entry, which is The Bug Butcher, which is 60% off at only $3.19. Now this game made my list of the top 10 platformers under $10, even at its full price of $7.99. So when it's like this at 60% off for $3.19, it's a ton of fun for a low, low price. It's basically a shooter, but rather than work uh, horizontally, all the action is basically vertical. All the obstacles come through the stage uh, from left to right, and you basically have to move around shooting at the targets directly above you. It's an awesome twist on the action platform shooter that I just love to recommend. Now, the last two games on our list for today are going to be two of my favorite twin stick shooters. And the first one of those two is Inferno. Once again, it's an awesome budget entry at 60% off for only $1.99. Now, this has some really eye-popping visuals, although the presentation is very, very simple. And it has some really awesome RPG mechanics to really keep you going in the gameplay and progressing throughout the stages. If I had one to choose for this week, if you're into twin stick shooters, I would definitely select this one first. The next one we're going to see is also Almost as good, but it does have a little bit less replay value than Inferno 2 has. Now, the last game for this week's list is going to be Gunpig Firepower for Hire. That is currently 50% off for $2.49. Now, this is a game that I actually have a full review for on my channel. So if you need some convincing, check out that review to see if the game is for you. But the gist of it was this. The visuals and gameplay is amazing in this game. The actual presentation is one of my favorite of all time for a twin stick shooter. However, the setup of the game is done in a fashion where a full playthrough of all the stages can be done in about 30 minutes. But the way the game wants to sort of give you some replay value is to basically either try to finish the game quicker or get a higher score. There are a few secrets to basically discover through the game. But I'll be honest, it only took me two or three more playthroughs to basically unlock all the secret areas through.
throughout the game. But nonetheless, Gunpig Firepower for Hire for $2.49. If you're into that arcade style, high score chasing or speed run chasing type of gameplay, it can be a definite awesome twin stick shooter to check out for this week. So that's pretty much it for this week's list of great eShop deals. However, before we go, there's another really important information that I want to share with all of you once again. And that is basically to go check out the cubic sale that is on right now. I have another specific video in the same playlist referring to the cubic 17th anniversary sale. And if you haven't checked that out, you have a chance to get almost a dozen games at only 17 cents each. And to get access to the sale, you do have to do something specific. But if you check my video out, it is super easy and doesn't cost you a penny. And on top of those 17 cent games, which by the way, is not all shovelware. There are some really awesome games in there. It also even gives you access to another list of a half dozen games at about $1.70 that are some really, really highly suggested games on my part. And by the way, I'm reminding you all this, but I'm not sponsored by any way in Cubic. It's just because I want to make sure that you are getting the best deals available on the eShop right now. And those deals are just hard to beat. But since I had a specific video out already on how to get access to that sale, I didn't want to waste too much time in today's video going over all those games. So the last thing before we go, don't forget that if you do like these videos, you want to see more. As I said earlier, please hit the like button. Really does help out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.